As uh, we are all aware, uh, President Trump has been infected with the COVID-19 virus. Uh, it is a <clears throat> serious uh, issue. And uh, first of all, I pray and I hope that uh, President Trump recovers uh, quickly and as soon as Mother Nature will allow it to be so. I pray for his well-being. Uh, in this context, amidst all of this, um, a lot of things have been said. And one, of the, one question caught my mind, which is, I will summarize it uh, or capture it generically to avoid any controversy. The question is, is it morally wrong for a person to hope for another person to die? Or, in other words, is it morally wrong <clears throat> for us to wish ill on others? I think it's an interesting question. Uh, my answer is no. Uh, it, uh, no, and uh, it, uh, my answer is no, and morality is quite a different thing from personal belief. It also means that whoever wishes ill on another is uh, simply in a dark place. It doesn't mean anything more. So by definition, personal beliefs are meta-beliefs. They are absolute. They contain no such thing as morality in them. There is only one reason to hold a personal meta-belief. Uh, that reason is to find deep and lasting inner peace. There are no other reasons. So given this, uh, it would be counterproductive to hold a personal belief that wishes ill on another person. It would uh, simply lead to more personal suffering and not peace. It is not immoral, but it is extremely injurious to one's uh, mental and other and even physical well-being. The morality enters the picture here our morality enters the picture only because you perceive that there is more than just you in this world. So morality becomes a necessity and a way to negotiate and transact uh, with the relativistic world. So in order that we can ensure our own survival. Morality is an ever changing landscape. It is uh, negotiated in the context of a situation and it's propelled by the momentum of history. Ideally, it is defined through peaceful negotiation and mutual consent. So think of it this way. Your personal or meta belief is meant to provide you with peace and a means to salvation. It should be thought of as separate from morality, which at best has only transactional value. If you mix the two, it could mean that you get neither. So we must be careful here. The world, for some strange reason, appears to contain things other than you. If there was only you, one being, in this world, there would be no need for morality. It's very easy to see that. Uh, so morality is just a tool to deal with the fact that we experience many things in this world instead of just one. So here's the punchline. The reality is or at least according to the, the Hindu school of thought, the Upanishad, the reality is there is only the one. Oneness is the only reality. You may choose to call it by whatever name you wish. Yahweh, Allah, Ishwara, Jesus, Gautama. You can call it mother, father, child. <coughs> um, but to be able to see through this persistent illusion of many in this world, it takes a lot of effort. In Hinduism, we call it the sadhana, a process which guides us to the spot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Why would you not want it? <laughs>